Hey everyone, and welcome back to Game Deck. So, it has been a good five days since I played last, so I just had to sort of catch the ending of the last video, just to sort of try to remember where we are at. We are trying to gain either, so, either the trust of the trolls or the sleeves. Is that actually going back? Did I just see it move? I swear, I, I I keep seeing this go back, but uh, may, may, maybe maybe it's maybe it's not. I don't know. In either case, we are trying to gain the trust of either of these two factions. It seems like I'm so far. I've been trying to really get the attention of the sleeves, but apparently everything I does, or I I, I do a lot of the things I do anyway, seems to uh, to to please the trolls. So it's been a bit of a a, a back and forth battle here. But last time we finished talking to most of the people that we have access to and we did want to take a look at all this stuff uh, over here to see what we have actually learned because it's been a while since we looked through this. So we are trying to figure out who had the motive to kill Ken. Okay, so we have six out of 10 possible clues. Uh, okay, it does say that Panny Centaur, one of the legendary members of the Painter's team, had a heart, heart attack. The Painter's team. The Painter's team. I did not know he was a part of whatever game they are playing. Then we have Ken's loneliness. Ken has been spending a lot of time with Panny Centaur lately. After the old man died of... Of heart attack, he was left alone. Okay. So Ken lost his friends. Ken felt guilty. Sleeves had such faith in Ken that they bet money on his latest match, but he locked out in the middle of the game. The boy felt guilty for letting his people down. Okay, then we have Ramona and the clan. Ramona belongs to the Han clan. When Ramona is was a important figure. Ken was in a bad place. Ken has changed recently. He mostly kept to, to oneself, looked quite depressed and had a really short temper. And then we have the combat robot in the bar. An old robot wasn't a surprising sight for anyone in the bar. Apparently people of low city are accustomed to defective machines. So, so far we have two out of, or three out of four unlocks here we have a suicidal tendency and we have an accident i mean we saw what happened we can rule both of these out so just by process of el elimination it's either the one we haven't unlocked yet or it's ramona the girl had some serious reasons to hate ken yeah we're not quite sure we know that yet what was ken up to we have only three out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine clues. The clan members respected Ken. Some of the clan members treated Ken with a strange mixture, mixture of respect and fear. Okay. Ken turned or returned to the bar. After losing the game, Ken started spending a lot of time in Yeti's coming. Okay. The clan in Knight's Code. The Han clan's headquarters are located in the Knight's Code game world. Yes, that is, it is indeed. What was he up to? He could have been taking revenge on the trolls. He was, he could have been spying on the Han clan. He might have joined it. Or he came back to Low City. Okay, and then we need to figure out who shot us. We have four out of six possible clues. We have a... We know that the person had a distinctive hair color. The person that ran into the bar had red hair. We know that the bar is a troll meeting spot. For the so-called trolls, the bar is like a second home. They go there to play games and access the network. We also know that it's a sleeve meeting spot. It seems that many of the bar guests are regulars. Sleeves. And we also have the Han clan in the bar. It seems that the Han clan has many wealthy members, but that doesn't apply to all of them. The ones from Low City aren't doing so well. 
So far, Ramona seems like uh, a, a an, an important figure here. We could uh, accuse one of the trolls, we could accuse one of the sleeves, we could accuse something unknown, and we can accuse Ramona. Is Ramona... No, not here, okay. I think the reason we wanted to talk to Cam over here is that she is kind of a You're redhead. Why? Yeah, let's ask if she ran into the bar. I heard you just arrived in the bar in a great hurry. What were you doing in the on the walkways? Where I go is none of your fucking business, secret agent. Look at my clients. You can tell they got in, got their drugs a while ago. Hey, tell them I've been here long. Blue. Yep, sure. She's She's been here since always. Anything else? Okay, I'm not... Uh not sh so sure I, I I I trust her on that one, but well, not not the fact that I don't trust her, but I mean trusting Glue, he's clearly high, and then apparently some stoner asked as well. Difficult to trust the word about uh, of, of those people, right? Let's uh, let's ask about Ken. Ken Sue, did you know him? Pretty somber guy. Didn't drink or use, but had recently started hanging around the bar. He wasn't a troll and never bought from me, so no. But let's get to the point. While you're here, you should buy something. I can get you to any state of consciousness. Let me guess. Forgetfulness and trust. Most of all, I need information. What are you... What, are you afraid of drugs? She smiled ir irreverently. Uh... Hmm... Now let's uh, let's. Uh, I think maybe we could we could say that we like all kinds of fun, and try to get on her good side. But let's uh, let's stick stick to our guns here. I think that I think what you are selling is harmful. Escaping into different states of consciousness doesn't solve any problems. Wow, what a brave stance! Say it out loud in front of a group of sleeves and see how they react. Okay, there you go. That was a bad thing. Fair enough. Anyway, the locals don't talk about drugs that way, and they don't ask for info. You're a spy, right? I'm a game deck. Game deck's a very convenient cover-up. We've seen this before. Yeah, she only possesses for personal use. Yeah, blah blah blah. Okay. Make it worth my time. Okay, well. Okay, so another thing we wanted to find out was if we should be joining the Han Clan. Unfortunately, checking the, the codex here, uh, the organizations, the Han Clan. If we check the journal, there's literally nothing written about it. Doesn't say about, doesn't say who they are, just say that, you know, they claim to have seen the gods. That must have been either a shared hallucination or a shared hallucination. Then we have some gamer things. We know that they're in Knight's Code, and they would excerpt from the clan register. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay. The Han Clan organization established on 12 12 21 97, 521 members considered passive. Players take a few aggressive actions. Uh, players take few aggressive actions. They mostly defend their territory. Admins have reported clan member behavior as sectarian on several occasions and describe the group as a cult. The organization is led by a player named Galu Mar, also known as Lord. So there's literally nothing there to help us. I'm fairly confident we have exhausted everything we can here. No one wants to talk to us. We have done all the posters. We can't do anything about the barrier because we don't have the necessary skills. Pretty sure... I don't Co here, you know, we don't have any other choice really, so let's encourage him to use a brain fix, right? Why not? Did you know brain fixes are produced by BWI's competitors? That's why they provide emotional blocking and AI can't get through. It's safe. I see right through through you, scum. It's your company that makes brain fixes. You want to use me, just like BWI. I knew I couldn't trust you. Okay. Burnt that bridge as well, apparently. Yes, and I think we don't have too much left, actually, other than to... We're not going to complain about Rick. I don't see the points. Kill them all. Is he... Oh, no, he's still... 
he's still sleeping. Let's leave him alone for now. Virtualia are much more convenient. Uh, let's ask how to wake him up. Do you have an idea how to wake up our sleeping beauty? I'd like to talk to him. Before he gave up his life as a pro, he tested stimulants on himself. It kind of worked, but not for long enough to continue his career. But you probably don't have anything like that. What if you gave him something to jog his memory of the good old times? He and Pani Santor used to play a lot of happy hunting grounds. But you didn't hear that from me. Okay. I needed to talk to people in the real room. Okay. I honestly have no idea what the, what that actually... What that would help. None whatsoever. What about this bar media system? Anything new? I don't think so. No. Okay, bus patrons, we've checked that as well. Yep, yep, yep. Just make a quick round here. Okay, let's... I guess... Request a song for Kill Them All. Do you know the game Happy Hunting Grounds? Play the main theme loudly. He acknowledged me with a nod. His body started dancing to a different beat. Not gonna do it? Sit down, young one. Have a drink. Do you recognize this music kit? Do you know which game it's from? They should teach that in art history. Forbidden art history. I noticed that some some sleeves sitting nearby were listening in. Okay, I guess they like that. Came to learn from the legend. There's already been one young man here before you. An eSports pro. A bit more handsome than yourself. Okay, well we know probably know who that is. Let's uh, ask about the hooded person. Someone ran into the bar not too long ago. Did you see who it was or where they went? I don't know who, but I woke up when they were scrambling up the stairs. Some people got pushed away and cursed terribly. This wouldn't have happened in harvest time. I shoot faster than that, runaway cowboy. You should play with me sometimes. Okay. I'll show you how I'll show you true reflex. Not to be confused with reflux, god damn it. Okay. Let's ask about the young man before us. You said something about a young man before me. Ken knew about our successful past. He even knew I was once the sheriff of harvest time. Did I tell you about this game? You know what, let's uh, let's let him vent. Actually, we do know that... What's his name? Said that... Uh, kill them all, it doesn't really usually last long. Oh no, that was actually, that was the stimulants. No, let's, uh, let's let him vent. I don't think you did. Uh oh, sleeves. A man wearing a jacket with extended sleeves passed our table and looked at me favorably. He must have liked the way I treated the veteran. Ah, okay. Good thing, good thing. When I ended my career because my brain was getting tired too easily, they thought the old man came to work his field and stuff. But wham bam, I became the sheriff within an hour. After a week, they were all too scared to duel me. I'm really exceptionally quick, you know, but I get tired easily. God damn it. Nowadays, kids play games whether they have things to do or not. Even Ramona plays a lot lately, and I doubt she knows why. You know what, let's, let's mention that we played Harvest Time. I visited Harvest Time a while ago. High Rock to be specific. I think it was a different sheriff. High Rock? My last asylum? My attention span is too short for other games, but gun dueling doesn't take much time. Did I tell you already? Down there I was still the man. Call it a legend's rest home, but I was respected. I cared for that town and put punks in their place. Then this guy took it from me. He wasn't even that good. He just realized I get weak fast and challenged me when I was barely standing up. I know that he beat me when I was half asleep, but still. Something died inside me that day. Something snapped. That's all I've ever been my whole life, a player. I hunted, I played matches, I was good at it. I don't know how to be anything else now. Okay. 
No, we're not gonna help him fall asleep just yet. Hmm. I guess we could suge suggest the Virtualium. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. You can still play. Many millions of people do it. Just on an amateur level. At least you have a friend there and his cheats, right? Well, maybe. We could pop into Paradise Beach and, and whistle at some babes. What do you say? Right, uh, Trepanator. That's what he's called. Okay, Ramona. You mentioned Ramona. Could you... She's Panicento's granddaughter, but we all raised her together, so she's kind of mine too. I taught her how to sneak up on gulls, you know. Hmm. I'm not sure I knew that she was Panicento's granddaughter. <laughs> okay. Okay, so... I remember the name, but I don't remember exactly what we know about her last time. But... Clearly, in our deduction here, Ramona's name has come up several times, making her a prime suspect. We know that Ken was a good friend of Annie Centaur. And maybe, maybe she, maybe she thought that Ken did something. Maybe Ken did do something, who knows? Maybe that's the connection there. Well, we're gonna continue to let him speak freely. You taught Ramona how to hunt gulls in happy hunting grounds? Ooh, there we go. A sleeve standing nearby nudged his friend and pointed at us. They were listening in. Gulls, my dear, are folks that don't know what they want. Virtual castaways. Grazers. Easy prey. Got it. <coughs> she never liked beating around the bush and could spot a gull from a mile away. I'll lure one. We staged a draft for a deputy, deputy sheriff in harvest time once. I locked, I locked out so that it seemed like I didn't know anything about it, and the girl robbed five applicants, and they thanked her afterward. Now she's gone somewhere. She's probably in the hospital with her grandpa. So, past choices, again, it would have been really nice to hover over it to figure out what exactly we did. Okay. When I got up from the table, the man was already falling asleep. With a, uh, with, uh, with a corner of my eye, I noticed somebody smile. But when I turned around, all I could see was some people's backs. Guessing that was sleep, because we're super close to it now. Virtualia are much more okay. Do you have anything? No, we're not going to do that. That's definitely for trolls. There we go. Let's see if we can get a pass to upstairs. I need to get upstairs. That's a very special area. People are in-game, their bodies on couches, unsupervised. Their belongings are by the couches too. I'm not going to bother anyone. I'm a game deck. I'm conducting an investigation and I have to get in there. I want to talk to someone. Game deck, huh? Okay, I'll let you up there if you do me a small favor. It'll prove to be... It'll prove to the patrons you're trustworthy. Get rid of Cam Grosny. Don't hurt her, just remove her from the premises. Why do you want her gone? She sells drugs and gets half of my customers high off them. Not enough? Lately she's been pushing everything, apparently even some nasty fake l pill. She's a treacherous she-troll. She competes with Herman, I mean Tick, for leadership among the trolls. If you remove her, Tick will, Tick will surely be happy. And nobody, or almost nobody, will be mad at me, because you'll be the one to do it. Sure, why not? I'll do it. She usually hangs around the toilets, a fitting place for a scumbag. Okay. Let's see if... Uh, I'm. Oh, dude. I'm pretty sure this is Tick, right? No, we're not gonna play. Okay, let's not quite yet play with you because I feel like that's gonna gain favor with the trolls. Blue, no, you don't have anything. Okay. 
Okay, still nothing here. Just trying to see if there was, might be something around her here that we can... That we can do to get out of here. Okay, whatever. You're still here. What? Why? Old Yet doesn't want you in his bar. I'll show you to the door. That's a joke. He and I have a deal. He gives us anonymous couches and I get the sleeves what Yet legally can't. I didn't say a word when he installed the brain fix years ago and he wants to kick me out? Fine. If it's a war he wants, he'll fucking get it. I don't know what he promised you, but I'll match his offer if you destroy the brain fix. Hmm. Well, that's exactly what I thought. And can you get me upstairs? I've done business with yet long enough to install workarounds in his system. Destroy the brain fix, and I'll get you into hell if you want. <sighs> this is... This is a difficult choice, actually. I'm... I'm thinking kicking out a troll will most likely appease the sleeves. On the other hand, I'm kicking out a troll that'll make another troll happy because he wanted he wants to take over. So maybe it's neutral or maybe that it's actually helping the um, helping the trolls. On the other hand, I'm pretty sure destroying the brain fix and doing a favor for the trolls is probably definitely a good thing for the trolls. So... Uh, mm -mm. I'm probably gonna go infotainer here to threaten her to leave. That's, uh, that's, that's my bet that that's gonna help us here. But let's ask about the brain fix first. You mentioned Yet had a brain fix installed here. Uh, that shit's dangerous and addictive. These plexes make people dumb. If you destroy it, you won't just be doing me a favor, but all sleeves, too. Huh. I didn't know she was a sleeve. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's ask about the sleeve's health. You're describing very serious side effects. If they're real, why hasn't anyone who uses this machine done anything about them? Some guy hidden in the shadows nodded. I don't know what that means. God, you're so naive. Strange the Khan hasn't recruited you yet. Brain fixes generate profits for fun gears, a corporation. Get it? The brain fix is advertised as a candy vending machine, and that's the way people use it. Recklessly and excessively. Don't believe me? Find your own proof. Convince someone to try it or use it yourself. You'll get first-hand experience. Okay, so the codex. We have Ramona actually now, apparently. Okay. Seems that Ramona has predatory instincts. She can sense people who are undecided, weak or broken. And she doesn't... Th Treat them too kindly. Anyone talking to her shouldn't sugarcut things or beat around the bush. That's probably good Good to know. So if Ken was depressed, she might also have been uh, been after him. If she sensed something. Uh, okay. What I actually wanted to see if I could find something on... Cam. Doesn't look like it though. Okay, so the organizations. Let's check out the sleeves. What do we know about them? Okay, where did this name come from? Those who don't those who don't visit Low City don't know that uh, don't know that modern clothes, which fit everyone perfectly, regardless of their size, do not always work properly. The first thing that usually breaks in cheaper models of jackets and sweatshirts is the buffer regulating the sleeve length. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Just gonna skim through because that seems not super interesting. Dark web. Oh, 
Okay, actually, it does say here it's hard to enter games at yet, so we prefer booze, drugs, and brain fix plexus. Okay, so sleeves are apparently definitely high on drugs. Okay, well, I, I didn't necessarily get what I um, what I wanted, but it seems like we should we should be doing her the favor. Okay, dude, see the brain fix. What can we do about it? Okay, well, let's not use it though. Let's just cause a short short circuit. I found the service panel and unscrewed the masking plate. The power connectors were easy to find. I pulled my coat sleeve, wrapped it around my hand, then took out my badge and put it between the connectors, which caused some sparks. I quickly pulled my sleeve back, but the badge put the badge back in my pocket and looked at the panel of the device. It was dead. Oh come on. Apparently that was not the way to go. You're Jesus. Slayer. You've done well. The brain fix was competition for me. Besides, it wasn't on the books, so everybody wins. Thanks. You can thank me by granting me access upstairs. Of course, I'll grant you access as soon as you tell me who you're gonna troll. You secret agent. Oh my god. I knew this. Why do I get so confused about this shit? Okay, well... Once again, we made a bad choice. That wasn't our deal. Our deal was that I let you upstairs. Not that I wouldn't ask questions. Even so, Yet changes the terms more than I do. So, who is it? Well, I don't know. I don't know yet. I hope to find out soon. Come back when you know, and now get lost. She twisted her mouth into a sardonic smirk. You're still here. Why? Okay. Well, I gotta say that uh, that that on honestly annoyed me more than it probably should have. But Tell me everything. alas, make you feel we made our choice. Apparently, I misjudged something. You're a lot of okay. Questions. He looked at me and ground his teeth. You were supposed to solve the problem, not break my stuff. Get out of my sight, you crook. Okay. Who is regular Joe? How about a bet? Another fight? Is there a problem? There is. The downstairs of the bar belongs to us. Okay, they're fighting once again. I wonder if we can do anything here to... Uh, to improve with the sleeves here, because... We've seen this before. Uh, hmm. Let's, I guess, try and stop it. I pierced myself between the fighters. Calm down. What is it your virtue allows? Can't handle me on your own? You found yourself a bodyguard? I could fuck you up so bad you wouldn't be able to stand up, bitch. And this one here came to protect the weak. That means you, bastard. Okay, finally, let's side with the sleeves. I don't think he's weak. I just don't want anyone to get hurt. That includes you. And that's why you're siding with this drunk? Maybe they'll buy this bullshit, but not me. You're not the first sleeve that tried to screw me over. Okay, it's we did max out. Maybe this is like a, a fail safe event, I'm guessing, if if you do like me and, and screw up too much. Let's use our Vox Populize here and address the crowd. The spy is your spot, right? Do you want it to be yours alone or do you want the greens to come here? There's a body on the walkway in front of the bar, still warm. Go back to drinking, trolling or whatever it is that you do here. One corpse is enough for today. Okay. 
let's finally see if he's gonna talk to us now. Okay, what? One talk and you think that we're friends? That I couldn't wait for you to come back so I could tell you everything? Okay, apparently not quite yet. Let's see if we can find some sleeves. Should be right there, yeah. Now there we go. Finally, thank you. Okay. You're really giving these trolls hell. Big ups, man. Did you really know Ken? I did. That's why I'm trying to find out how he died. I need information. Can you help me? Hold up. How can we be sure we can trust you? Trolls don't like you, but that doesn't mean you're one of us. Quit fucking around. He's alright. You can see it in his eyes. You want to check his his eye in or what? That's fine. Chill. Everything will come out in the field test. You want us to treat you like one of our own? Wait till somebody comes in and collect the fee. Okay. Let's let's what's what's what will be the point? I'm not stupid. I know you've been watching me. Haven't I already proved that I'm cool? My grandma is cool too, dude. But I wouldn't tell her anything important, cause she just blurted out uh, to to her besties. It's called initiation, my friend. We all go through it. You need to learn about the Moors, and we want to see you cross a line. All right, I agree. Fine. How do I do it? You dumb. You saw a quitter in action when when you came in. He approached you and collected the money. Now you do that to somebody else. Okay. Well, we are going to start off doing that next time. And then we can at least uh, take a look around the bar and talk to the different sleeves. I'm guessing maybe we don't have to talk to too many of them since this is probably a initiation process or, or a ritual that they all could have given us. I'm guessing the guy or quitter and his friend at the, at the entrance is going to be able to uh, or will talk to us as soon as we are initiated. Did we gain any new clues? I don't actually think so. Uh, no, not so far. No. Okay, well, that's gonna be where we continue next time. So, for now, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and to see you for the next one. Until then, take care.